So we have people that come in that have mineral deficiencies, leg cramps at night, osteoporosis, skin itching. And by the way, if you're taking vitamin D right now and you're watching me and your skin itches, it's not because of the D, it's because you're lacking calcium. So you know, Scott, I have a cold sore on my lip. And I've been on the road, been all over the world, and recently I was in a very sunny city and I was probably in the sun a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. And the cold sore showed up two days later. Cold sores come from a virus. I know from my experience, I happen to be blood type A. And we're not here talking about blood type diets, but I am blood type A. People who have blood type A have digestive challenges compared to blood type O. And do not ask me about the other blood types because nobody in my family is other blood types, so I don't know anything about anybody else, all right? I'm A. My wife's O. People who are O, by the way, should not be vegetarians. O should be mm. meat eaters. I should be the vegetarian. We won't go there, though. So I, I, this cold, I haven't had a cold sore in like two years. You know, been on the road, traveling, didn't have my calcium citrate or lactate. Fever blisters showed up. So I know right now that my body needs some extra calcium. I don't drink cow's milk. You say, oh, that's why I didn't get your calcium from. Now, see, when's the last time a cow you saw eat cottage cheese milk or ice cream? They don't. That's not where they get it. They get it from hay, grass, and alfalfa. Mm -hmm. So there are people watching us right now that have chronic cold sores. Chronic cold sores are a sign of a calcium need, possibly a vitamin D need. If you're watching us right now and you have dark skin, black, Mideast, um, Indian Asian, or even if you're out and you live in a sunny state and you're constantly covering your arms, you're using suntan screen, your vitamin D could be low. But people who have dark skin, and I've been practicing a long time, I've never had one come into my office whose vitamin D level was above 20. Normal is 40. It usually goes from like, it depends on the lab, it usually goes from 10 to 100, 20 to 100 is the range. We like to see it at 40. Lack of D is the leading cause of MS. Lack of D, vitamin D, is, allows the little phagocytes called Pac-Mans in the body eat unwanted, unfriendly bacteria. Here's how vitamin D works. Vitamin D takes the calcium from your intestines and puts it in your blood. Vitamin F, which would be flax oil, for example, takes it from the blood and puts it to your skin. When you consume trans fatty acid, your body is not doing a good job taking the calcium from the blood to the skin. That's why I believe we have so many issues with melanomas today, hmm. because we're not getting the proper transport of calcium movement in the body. You might say, what happened to you, Dr. Bob? What happened to me? A lot of plates floating up in the air, wasn't taking enough calcium, spent too much time in the sun, and th that just happened. You know, you kind of learn your lesson and you go <laughs> on with it. Mm -hmm. I have learned from experience that kids who have growing pains, they usually need calcium. Kids who are teething usually need calcium because they're going to get a fever. Now, this is going to sound really wild and bizarre, but what I've also learned is that kids who have these chronic fevers and growing pains oftentimes have a deficiency of iodine. So we have a liquid mm -hmm. iodine that we use in our office that has 150 micrograms in it. If I have a child that comes in and I have parents that are a little frustrated, oh, little Billy's crying again, and this hurts and that hurts and his knee hurts and his shoulder hurts and he's cold, and they have an iodine deficiency. 72% of the people in the United States alone have a deficiency of iodine. One third of the people throughout the world have subpar thyroid function. Subpar thyroid function is one of the leading causes of breast cancer. You know, I've been really fortunate. I wrote a book, Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. In that book, we talk about cancer. This liver is the key to cancer, cancer prevention. You say, why is that, Dr. Bob? We're going to really focus on breast disease right now. 95% of breast removal breast cancer is caused by too much estrogen in the body. So I'm going to give you a little okay. story right now. You ready? 72% of the people in the world today, in the United States, don't have enough iodine. Iodine combines with a protein amino acid called tyrosine. Iodine and tyrosine make thyroid hormone. If your thyroid is subpar, we're going to give the body signals for subpar thyroid. Cold hands, cold feet. Thinning of the eyebrows, wide spaced teeth, coarse thin hair, yellow teeth, fatigue. Here's a big one. Headache in the morning that goes away as the day goes on. Constipation. And are you ready for the big one? High cholesterol. Hmm. 
So if I have a woman that comes into my office, I shake their hand, they smile at me, yell white space teeth, thin hair, thinning eyebrows, then I ask them the question, hey, do you poop every day? And they look at me like, what are you asking me that for? Because see, if they have subpar thyroid function, they're going to be constipated. It's a huge problem, mm -hmm. by the way. People don't talk about it. So we talk about mm -hmm. things people don't like to talk about. So if your thyroid is subpar functioning and you're constipated, the liver has to work harder. The liver is the organ in the body that processes the estrogen. So if your liver is being compromised because your colon's not functioning optimally, it's not going to process the estrogen. Body signals of high estrogen, tender breast, heavy menstrual flow. Your liver needs B vitamins. B is in Bravo. Body signals for lack of B vitamins, crying easy. Fear of impending doom. Sore muscles on exercises and mosquitoes whoo, like you. So if mosquitoes like you, cry easy, fear of impending doom, sore muscles after exercising or shoveling or raking, your body needs B vitamins. What takes B vitamins out of the body? Sugar and stress. The body also needs essential fatty acids. One third of the women in the United States today have a zinc deficiency. Body signals for a zinc deficiency, large pores on the face, white spots on the nails. Men have pain on the inside of their heel because of their prostates enlarged, the first sacral nerve roots being squeezed causing pain on the inside of the heel. So if a person comes into my office, tender breast, heavy menstrual flow, I know the liver more than likely is not functioning optimally. 